Thank you. Uh, when you join, you share extensively so that we can have everybody on board. When you join, you share extensively. Let's have everybody on board, okay?
Please let's share, let's share to everybody, okay? So That is um, from the from the very strong and great uh, Sisekwa Yoktaba Julius uh, doing his um, his uh, enthronement as uh, a Seseko, you know. And uh, you know, I am particularly very happy for all those of you who are joining the show. It's going to be a sh uh, very special show, and I thank you all. And uh, I am dedicating this show to the President of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia, His Excellency Sisekwa Yoktabe Julius, and his entire cabinet, and all of our compatriots who will be spending uh, Christmas in jail. Like you're already aware that their adjournment is on the 10th of uh, January, and they will be spending Christmas, New Year, and all of those in jail in the dungeons of the Republic of Cameroon. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much once more for joining. Please, when you join, you share extensively. Let's have everybody come on board. I want to start this show when we have at least a quarter of a thousand people watching live. And uh, God bless you for your effort. God bless you for everything. And uh, today is a very special day for us all because uh, of the fact that we have life and we are breathing. And uh, we will be sending a lot of messages out there to La Republic to Cameroon. I want to seize this opportunity to say a big shout out to all of you who are watching me, especially my brother and friend, uh, who is more or less like, uh, no, who is uh, more of my advisor. Let me know, use more or less, more of my advisor. I'm thinking of you, Emmanuel uh, in Joka Yok. I also want to shout out that to my other big brother, Everson Bank, and all of you who are watching out there. And I'm saying a big uh, shout out to all those who are watching from Ground Zero, those who are watching from Ground One. Uh, those who are watching from the dungeons in Konengi, especially our president, His Excellency Ayuk, Tabe Julius, uh, Pat Tassan, all the other comrades, Manchum BBC, uh, Senator Penterence. I'm also thinking of the South African community. I'm thinking of um, uh, Milton Taka, who is watching from South Africa. I'm thinking of all of you out there in South Africa. I'm also thinking of Dr. Cho Ayaba, who will be watching from Norway. God bless you. And of course, a uh, big shout out to my friend and brother, Mark Barita, who is... Uh, driving back to belgium from london i wish you a, a very safe trip mark you a great fighter god bless you i also want to think of all those of you in the uk who of course uh, assisted in making sure that mark barita mark barita's book launch was a success and i'm going to come back to london because i have a message for honorable joseph weber 
uh, that we have communicated briefly and I've been informed of a couple of things is planning on doing that I'm going to support. I'm thinking of all those of you in UK. I'm thinking of a Kambe Manuel. I'm thinking of uh, Amy Trisha. I'm thinking of a uh, Fombant, Joshua Carr, Ebon Kingsley, uh, Ernesto, and that's Ernest, my friend. All of you in the UK who, of course, uh, indeed, Joe, my friend who made uh, the, the event successful. Let me also say a big shout out to Della Della, who was also there to support Mark Barita. All of you whose name I cannot mention. It was a fantastic show of brotherliness. I'm thinking of uh, all of you who are watching out here in the United States. I'm thinking of Ashu Kinsley, another great activist. Let me also say shout out to uh, Kemi Ashu. I will not forget, of course, Yannick Sikot, Nelson Ochamba. There are a lot of you whose name I cannot mention. God bless you all for your support, for your strides to ensuring that we, we, we get all of, all of this. I'm also going to be talking about UAE, the United Arab Emirates. I understand that the government of Cameroon is trying to lobby to get an, uh, a consular there. We're going to make sure we talk about it. And we want to shout out to everybody who has been following us closely. God bless you. And of course, the people of Chicago. I'll be in Chicago this weekend, so it's a special shout out to all of you in Chicago, okay? So we're going to be there and we're going to make something big, something will happen for our refugees, for our detainees in jail, in the various jails in the Republic of Cameroon. I think uh, I have been talking to a couple of my friends and I'm going to make a public appeal on this platform today uh, so that we can assist our refugees and our detainees out there in the jails in the Republic of Cameroon. So I have a lot of the things that I'm going to be talking about. They are in my phone. I've jotted here, so I want to ensure that I get the point one after the other. Uh, before I get to the uh, issue in Chicago, let me, and of course to Honorable Weber, let me also let you all know that we have won the war. We have won many battles. We have lost some, but we have won the war. But I also want to see this opportunity to say a big shout out to the people of Ecuador. I also want to extend my sincerest condolences to the family of General Beltus and say God bless you for your service to Ambazonia. We have cried, but we can cry because that is part of war. You saw what happened. Over six terrorist soldiers were taken out in Bamenda yesterday. Many more have been taken in uh, in Boyo. A big shout out to you, Chris Bongam, for the wonderful job you guys are doing in Boyo. I also want to thank all of you who are watching from China and to say to the people of Ekona, the poor Fako, God bless you, Joshua Ka, I know I know how much you're going through, your pain, you are grieving. But that is war and that's some of the sacrifices you have to pay. I want to thank uh, everybody for the wonderful assistance that you've been giving our people. So please keep sharing to other platforms so we can start the show because we have quite a number. Now we're going to go straight to Yaoundé where we have um, the dictatorial regime. That is why in the beginning of uh, most of my presentations, I have told a lot of us that one of the best strategies that we can push this revolution further is county by county. And all of you have seen that through the Republic of Cameroon. The Cameroonian government has adopted county by county in its recruitment because they are aware. Oh, before I go, I want to say shout out to those of you in the BLM. And we understand there's been serious gun battles in the BLM since many hours. So we pray for the poor of the BLM. We pray for the Red Dragons. And we know that uh, Fee Marshall is going to be up to tax. No matter what happened in the BLM, there is never going to be a day that we're going to give up simply because I know they are trying to ensure that if they get Fee Marshall, they will say, okay, the battle is over because Yaoundé has instructed the military to get Fee Masha alive so that he's going to use to demoralize us. But unfortunately, His Excellency Siseko Ayok Tabejilos has already demystified that myth by saying that he is Ambazonia, he is not Southern Cameroons. And so we want to thank all of you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your very strong support in the Southern Cameroons War of Independence. We have made considerable diplomatic strikes and we are going ahead because we have the conviction the reason why some of us fight is because we know that the country is already free and we have to keep all of you on the alert, all of you giving you hope to understand that you cannot give up, not at this time, not ever in your lifetime. So we keep on thanking you people and God is going to bless you. I want to thank uh, Papa Joe and all those of you, Nostar, who have already contributed to the Chicago trip. And we're going to be saying a lot of things here regarding that. And so God bless you once more. I'm going to pull out um, uh, this picture real quick. And then I will show some of you. Some of you must have seen that already about the county by county stuff that the government of the Republic of Cameroon has already applied because the government knows that uh, it is a strategy that is uh, very strategic and that is a strategy that's going to keep, keep beating everybody, beating the government. 
I also want to seize the opportunity to thank my brother and friend, uh, Walter Skeyaka, who has been very instrumental. He's counsel. He's been talking to me, advising me. Uh, although he's of the AGC, but he's been one of the most objective human beings I've come across. We have argued, we have queried, but we have kept our differences aside for the general good. I'll also be talking about the Amber Coin today uh, in the course of this program and to let you people know that uh, normally as an individual, there are a lot of things that I, I can endorse if I'm not sure of. I've been talking backstage with a lot of people who are in charge of this and we're working hard to see that I understand the project so that I'm going to explain to my followers. So that's just a tip of it. So we're going to start uh, this special edition uh, talking about the Yaoundé issue. I think that, uh, let me check, Nelson Ochimba, I think you sent me those pictures of the county by county that the public is trying to apply. A lot of people have sent to me. I'm going to look up uh, this in my phone so that I will show us with a lot of proof what I'm trying to talk about. And I uh, want to say God bless every Southern Cameroonian. Keep sharing, keep sharing. We're hitting 500 soon. Have a thousand very soon. We'll go to 1,000 and then we want to make sure that we get everybody on board so that we share our experiences, share our differences. For those of you who be watching on YouTube, God bless you. We have a YouTube channel, but we have not started uploading, uploading our videos there. We will do that soon enough. So for those who share our videos, no problem. We thank you all very much for your uh, sincere, uh, 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 you know, patriotism. God is going to bless you endlessly because you are indeed the strongest fighter. That no, nobody can doubt that because your commitment in sharing our works is one thing that we can never pay you for. Uh, although we have reservations to some other issues, but we must say that it is a wonderful thing. So we have um, the county by county here uh, that I'm going to uh, go straight over to my gallery to show you what I'm trying to talk about um, for those of you who will be joining. Now, Yaoundé has gone to adopt county by county and uh, I want to thank all our compatriots. Let me also extend a hand of fellowship to all the leaders. I'm thinking of you, Dr. Sako, Dr. Kwanga, Dr. Benet uh, Dr. Beneza Kwanga, Dr. Cho Ayaba, uh, Mr. Evis Kometa, uh, John Baku, uh, I mean, everybody from uh, uh, Gojinka, I cannot remember everybody's name, but I'm very happy that, you know, everybody's following closely. I want to go to uh, WhatsApp images. I think I downloaded that already. Uh, now, you know, the government of Mr. Pobia has adopted county by county. You see, they are, they, are, they are recruiting after their disarmament engagement or their talks on disarmament. They, what have they done? They have not come to uh, 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 engage with county by county because that is the strongest, the strongest. I must say this because the day that I conceived this idea I was with was some top military people here in this country who advised, I cannot mention them, it is uh, uh, actually the, the uh, exclusive reserve to keep the identity secret. I was uh, at Noster's place and we discussed this. When I brought this idea up, they gave in a lot, a lot of information. And of course, we must share this with you. Now, this is La Republic du Cameroon. I want you to look very carefully. I'm going to reduce the resolution of this phone so that everybody can see it from there. You see, this is La Republic. I'm going to show you all of this, you see. This is one, La Republic du Cameroon, using, uh, I hope we are okay with this. I think we see this, this is Faco County. Let me uh, increase, the, uh, rather increase the resolution and see how good it is. Uh, okay, I want to show us all these pictures before I discuss on it. This is one, you can see that's Faco, for those of you see, that's, you can see that that's Faco County, that's one. The next one here is Le Bialem, that's Le Bialem. We we'll still show, I think uh, this is Coupe Maninguba. You can see that that is Coupe Maninguba. You can see Manu. Manu. Uh, still Coupe. Okay, Le BLM shows here clearly. That's Le BLM. Okay, now that I've shown this, uh, the government of Cameroon, of Mr. Povia. Uh, it is not clear, but uh, I think that we uh, let me repeat it and see. This is uh, Le BLM. You can see Le BLM, the recruitment according to Le BLM. This is Le BLM County. That's how the government is recruiting. From Le BLM, we go to once more, we go to uh, 
Manu. Those are soldiers there. They are doing uh, medical. That's Manu. You can see soldiers. That's Manu County. Now, this is Kupe Maninguba. This is Kupe Maninguba. And then you come here. This is uh, I've shown the BLM. There are other counties, but for now we have received from four counties. Fako, this is Fako. It's clearly shown here. Joshua Kadi is your county. That's Fako. Now, thank you all very much. I will continue uh, with other things. Let me talk about this one thing after the other. Now, that is why I have told our compatriots that we must accept ideas that are beautiful, that we can implement to fight our war and win our war. The government of Cameroon is not mistake that the government of Mr. Pobia for 50 something years. Pobia has been in power since 1982. For the entire time that Cameroon has existed, they have never recruited soldiers and they are showing uh, 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 placards like this that you are from this county and they are only doing it with Anglophones, with us, Southern Cameroonians. Why do you think that they are not showing that? This is a, 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 a Nyong Ekele County. Nyong Ekele is a division in, in, in the one and indivisible Cameroon that Mr. Pobia is claiming. Why well, have they not shown that this is a, 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 which other which other area is there? Why did they not show that this is Wuri in Liktora? They have not shown Wuri. Why well, have they not why well, have they not shown other areas in Francophone, in the Francophone area or in the uh, La Republic of Cameroon? They are showing us the counties in southern Cameroons. Because they know that the approach of county by county is what has killed La Republic. One of our greatest successes that we have achieved since the beginning of this movement is by constituting ourselves according to our counties in order to ensure that we put the government on the alert. Now, people contribute money to their counties. Money is raised according to counties and the war is fought. That is why you see they are struggling by every means to break the BLM because once that is done, they would think that they would have won the war. But of course, as you are already aware, we are certain that we have won because you have seen all the signs. All the signs are there. And government is now recruiting people county by county. Oh my goodness. And we must know that as Ambazonians, it's a strategy that the government knows that can work. And that's why they are actually going to adopt that but thank God that we have constituted ourselves according to our various counties. That is why I urge all of you frontline leaders to buy an idea that is workable, an idea that is win, winning, a winning idea. And the government of Mr. Pobia knows that that idea that was brought up by this little man, this nobody called Eric Tato, is an idea that can destroy La Republic to Cameroon. And that is why they have gone now. I am not in La Republic. I am not Ask, I do not ask that if it were an ambassador that did it, they would say, oh, Eric Tato has planned this. But that is the government of Mr. Pobia with its best strategies. Best strategist ever. The strategy that they have, all the military from budget to Asomo, they have now come that no. This thing that this young man said about county by county, this is what has made them very formidable. As you are aware, they have never killed an entire county since the revolution. That's why Fakwe is strong. The counties that have been formed effectively, that are working. You have Fako and uh, uh, Le Bialem. Now there is Boyo that the other part trying to put in place. Nobody has seen anything about the fact that those counties have been invaded. You go to the seven Ikata in Bafut, uh, under Meza. You see how powerful they are. So our people must go back to the drawing board. All defense groups work and make sure that you come under a county and then we can support you and get all of this now i want to i want to say this very clearly to all of us uh honorable weber i've left that one i'm going to the next thing and before i get to honorable weber i want to draw our attention to something there is an audio that is circulating and that some activists have even put on their walls where they claim that some fighters are actually saying that they want to they want to actually give give out they want to give up and give out their weapons and i laugh do you know why i laughed i laughed because that is for an activist to put such a thing on his wall 
That is what I call the height of betrayal. Probably some form of inborn stupidity. Because as an activist, you can't be doing what Atanga and Yipor will spend billions to do. Now, listen to this. I want us to listen very attentively. And uh, it is going to shock you that <laughs> when I watched it, I laughed. And some people, some people will actually think that will take them serious for who they are. It's a shame because for all those activists who have put this on their wall, let me go to it. Let me see. I think I should have it somewhere. Uh, let me go back. We, we, have, we have it. And we will get it uh, out here for all of our people to watch, to listen to it. Okay, I think I'm going to get there soon. Let me see. Okay, I think this is it. In his house. I want us to Good listen. Afternoon. Good evening. Good morning to anybody or any time or any place we did, we will get this message. First of all, before I want to go ahead to talk, I will thank anybody we is a member of the sort of Amber. Okay, he said he go thank uh, every he go thank anybody we na member of the SWAT of Amber. That's sort of Ambazonia. That is why I want us to take note of this. I want us to know that there are people who have either been paid to do jobs for Tanganji or they are simply stupid and they are doing those jobs for free. And I want to be categorical about these people today on this live show. That I can assure you in my name as Eric Tato that no matter how much you try to destroy this revolution, you will not. Because I know I've gone to places, I have spoken to people, we are free. It's going to take some time, but I know what I'm saying. Now, listen very attentively. I want us to restart it. Let me go back to the beginning. Listen. Listen to it. Greetings, house. Sword of Ambazonia. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning to anybody or any time or any place we did. We will get this message. First of all, before I want to go ahead to talk, I will thank anybody we is a member of the Sword of Amber. I'm a thank you very much for the support and support me and for everything we to do. But for now, so we did we did for a very danger point we Okay, the we sword need. the sword of amber or sword of Ambazonia is owned by one of our comrades in uh, it's a it's a it's the WhatsApp group. I used to be there, I think I'm still there, I don't even comment there. It's owned by one of our comrades who used to be in it's in China. And so they had asked me to raise money for them. That I said no, I cannot raise money for a group because I don't I cannot raise money for AGC, I'm not raising for sort of amber, I cannot raise for Sokade. But when Dr. Kwanga comes as a team working with other, I can raise money for him. Okay, before I knew it, they took a was up a, the, the, the guy who is in charge of that group took my screenshot with him and gave it and they were distributing it on social media. And I just laughed because I knew that a day will come like this. That's how we operate. Now, the sort of amber is found mostly by the people who are the, most of them said they have Kwakwa and they Meme. That is why I put up a poster that. Those who are in Meme, con contact me urgently. And when I put on that thing on my wall, immediately somebody donated $50 that I sent to Fako County. Joshua Kai is aware. I gave the cash up for Fako. They send the money. They so Meme, you have, for the first time, you have your $50 in, in, in Fako. They, they have kept it there because we are going to start something big for Meme County. And let me be clear with these people who are sharing this kind of audios here. That no fighter, no fighter is dropping his weapon. If you have been paid, go and give back that money. I want to tell you that it's a shame that what Atanganji is supposed to use to pay money, is supposed to pay a lot of money to get to get this kind of message out. Some of you are putting on your wall for free and you are blaming the IG. I want to let you know that like for a, for a long time, I've not spoken with with uh, uh, Dr. Sako or Sergio Chris Anu because there are a lot of things that I've disagreed with them because I've proposed that the IG should be made up it should be all inclusive some of them see me as an enemy you see me ig sees me as an energy as an enemy la republic sees me as an enemy you some of you in the ages you see see me as an enemy but the people of ambazonia see me as their energy that is the difference and that is where my strength comes from and let me tell all of you now if you listen to the end all of this audio is found on some of these activists it's on their wall and i cannot play all because of time now there are places that some 
people are calling, they are calling the IG this, that, and they are trying to frame it that the IG has done this. Yes, it's true that there has been misappropriation within the IG that we can say authoritatively because the money for my trip to Boya has not been used in the way we expected. I, have, I am the only activist that has cried out a lot on this. You go to AGC2. AGC2 have people to that have misappropriated money. They don't, they don't give account to nobody. So the same like Morix, the same like all the groups. Now we are saying that we cannot continuously be with this kind of negative energy because if all of you activists, some of you activists, you come on your platforms and you are saying that uh, the IG is doing this, they are going to drop weapons because uh, Dr. Sako is this and that. That is a big, is a big, is a big irony because a lot the same you who are putting your 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 um those those messages on your platform you have already claimed some of you claim that the the ig the, the is the agc is the agc that is uh in charge the uh, agf that is in charge of grand zero so if you claim that the agc is in charge of grand zero this is the irony how come that the grand zero is complaining to drop weapons when you have somebody who is claiming to be in charge how come that's the question you're supposed to ask yourself you're supposed to ask yourself that question that we are saying that we are in charge, yet we are still putting audios of fighters complaining of materials. If you are in charge, means that you should provide materials. So when you are only in charge, when there's an action, you take the responsibility. But when there's something that is not good, you come and blame the IG. That's not how we're supposed to work. All in all, this is my appeal. Now, my appeal is that there is it is waste of time for you to come and attack the IG because each time you attack the IG, oh, Dr. Sako, you make the IG most popular because if you claim that you are in charge of Grand Zero, you run this, you do that, we are in control of Grand Zero, you cannot come again and you begin to complain that there is there, there are no weapons. If the AGC or ADF is in control of Grand Zero, why come and put videos or audios of fighters complaining and calling IG's name and blaming the IG? That is the question I want to ask you. So, you know, the issue is that God is a very special person, special being, and you must always think about the fact that each thing you say, they, there's always some wisdom in the way God is going to give somebody to interpret it, to have you hang you there. So all of you activists, you cannot come and put all Jews that you claim that fighters want to drop their weapons. No fighter is going to drop their weapon. If those fighters want to drop their weapon, it means that they are, they are, they are brothers. They are not our fighters. And that is that is indeed a fact. I've already talked about General Cross and I. He, he, he was you know killed in battle and we understand that and Fako County is already putting everything in place and we thank Joshua Kai and uh, everybody that is working hard on that too I think I made that comment General Bertus of um, of Fako but everything is in place that is war and we're going to we're going to lose some and we're going to also beat some of them so that is it for those of you activists you cannot come and blame the IG if I were you you should put your energy in trying to ensure that you bring these leaders together you cannot fight the people. Never. I want you to know that, that you will never ever fight the people because it is a simple thing. That no matter what you do, you can never ever fight the people of Ambazonia. And do not come and put audios there. That is a job that Tang and Jipo is supposed to do. We are talking about disarmament, but you are blaming the IG that they said that there should be no ghost town. But you have done something that 10 billion cannot do. By going to say that this are you're already announcing people dropping weapons, something that we said that Tanga and Jipo was going to do, and then you have already gone, you are doing it for free. So it is a terrible thing, and I want you to know that we are watching you. So watch out. Without said, I also want to do this uh quick correction. Uh in our last uh edition, somebody drew my attention where we actually had uh I will call the name of this activist, we actually had a joint statement. I when we did this joint statement, I sent it to all the activists, and the first activist that I spoke with was uh, Capo Daniel. And unfortunately, you know, I just do this as a disclaimer because somebody told me that not listening to that show, but somebody told me yesterday that uh, Capo said that I did not tell him that I was going to do this and that. But I want to just show a simple proof here on WhatsApp and to let you all know that in my life i don't know how to lie i don't know how to come and say things about people when we did the joint statement condemning one of our brothers for attacking chris anu the first thing that i sent to was capo daniel this is capo daniel i'm going to show this on the first of december i also sent to mark barita and then all the activists to joshua Carr. the only activist that did not even received that is uh yannick sikot but whose name is on the list because we consulted with him we know he's an understanding person the rest of the activists all of them ashu kinsley all of them received those messages and most of them if not all posted on their wall the only person that did not post that was capo daniel and why did he not post i don't know why but um he came later and claimed that 
because I did not give him, he did not know what was going on. But this is Capo Daniel. This is the statement that I sent to him. Joint statement. This is my own with blue. And then Capo came and edited it. This is Capo's own. That you see the same joint statement. So he edited it before that thing was posted. Then this is these are the two statements. So names names were written and then they posted them. But I don't know why an activist would come and deny the fact that he actually did not receive that. We're just trying to say that in the course of our reconciliation, we must ensure that, uh, uh, you know, and we must ensure that we try to be as honest as possible. I did not follow that, but somebody brought it to my attention. And I said I was going to use the opportunity to clear the air so that my, my followers should know. And I am, I am one person who is straightforward. I don't know how to lie. And it's not like I'm an angel or a choir boy. No, I am not. So you can see it here. I can post it if I like, but this is it. He, he, he received it on the 1st of December. I sent it to him after a phone call. He was sleeping. We typed it. We talked on phone. We drafted it together with Capo. And uh, he replied me. He posted now to me what he thinks that we should post. This is it. And uh, we did some modifications with Mark Barata. But we do not change. We do not change Capo's. Uh, Ka we do not change. We do not change Capo's own uh, 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 corrections. Because we said we activate of Southern Cameroon are unanimously cautioning uh, Tapan for making a video accusing Chris Anu without substantiation. substantiation. That was Capo's correction. But we have said here we said that. We're making videos that is, is uh, intended to cause division among leaders. So when we say cause division among leaders, Capo removed it and put without accusing Chris and without substantiation. So we went according to what uh, Capo did, and that one was actually, uh, 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 you know, if you look at it, Capo's correction was there, and he consented, and we sent everything. The final, final copy was sent to him, and we just get a little bit surprised. And uh, you can see that I send the final copy to him after Mark Barretta has done. And this is it. We go up. We say, you can post this. This is it. Uh, we said to Capo, you can actually post this. But instead, he was interested in other things to come and lie. What's up, don't lie. I have the screenshot of those. So I want to tell our brother that we, we have to remain very honest in order to gain the, the trust of the people. So with that said, that is okay. I'm done with that. I don't have time to spend on that. Uh, I go to the next item because I've jotted all of those things. And the next, this thing will be, of course, uh, on uh, Honorable Weber. Let me talk about Honorable Weber now. Uh, Honorable Weber will be doing something great. And I have a message for him um, to let him know for all those of you who will be watching from uh, from uh, UK, from London. I want you to pass this message to Honorable Weber that uh, in my name as Eric Tato, I spoke with him. We exchanged messages and his coordinator has gotten to me here and to tell him that he's a great man and just to let him know that he has uh the unflinching support of the southern cameroons uh people through this platform and to let him know that we thank him honorable weber will be launching his book known as the weber force uh is a book uh, the book launch will be in uh in uh uk let me let me uh try to get this one of our sisters from faco is trying to get to me i want to uh see what's going on just just a minute we're going to come back to you guys um so thank you very much so please keep sharing keep sharing keep sharing uh let's share extensively yes let me one minute please just for a minute yes sister uh, uh emma how hello good hello? yes sister i'm on the live show now you have a message to pass for faco oh, yes yes so i thought that you were following that's okay all right you can if you have any message just write to me there i'll put you on Okay, so uh, we we're just talking with our sisters. You know, we're concerned about what's going on in Faco. So uh, now, Honorable Weber will be launching his book. I've received the flyer here. This is the flyer of the book. So we're going to put that out and we'll call on all activists to support this initiative because if we're in this revolution to this extent, this is one of the persons who put all the force, all the power, and we are at this level. So his book launch will be uh, in London on um, I think it's January. If I'm not mistaken, I'm seeing 12th of January at 7 p.m. It's going to be at Corner College. Uh, I'll put all that address out there because it's easy. So just know that 12th of um, of uh, January, we're going to have Honorable Weber. His book launch is going to be there. So please join him, those of you who are all the way, all the way in London and neighboring areas. I'm sure Mark Barreta might also want to come back. So, okay. Thank you very much. From there, I'll move now to some other very critical issues. That is going to be the list, the list that uh, La Republic of Cameroon has put out there trying to intimidate our people. I've spoken with Mark Barretta and some other activists and we are of the opinion that 
Any Southern Cameroonian whose name is on that list, we know that the government is trying to set you up against your people. Uh, we have ensured that we try to protect you. So there is nothing that's going to happen to you. Just use your conscience and good, just, uh, good judgment and be rest assured that nobody is going to harm you because your name is on that list because we hold you in high esteem. We know that the government is trying to ensure that we get our people injured. We get our people, we get out there, we get quarreling with our people and ensure that everybody goes and look at it if it's for example if you go and hurt one southern Cameroon on that list maybe the brother is in the diaspora contributing for the movement it will already begin to antagonize people we have had a lot of killings unnecessarily and so we cannot have the government keep on putting on in that in that kind of situation so without say ladies and gentlemen i want to say this now uh in the very in the highest tone before i go back to the most essential thing let me warn all those people who are still in southern cameroons all those anybody whether you are, I don't know what to say, but I want you to listen very attentively to this particular segment of this show. This is about people who are still carrying foodstuff to La Republic du Cameroon. We want to assure you that we are certain about the extent of damage that we have done to the BR regime. And we want it to remain that way. So there are people who want to continuously betray us. While we respect your ideologies, while we understand that all of you, out there you're sacrificing we want you to know that we do not want any francophone anybody who is not southern cameroons to actually be getting products from southern cameroons in the days ahead we are going to take actions to shut down the cock border we want to shut down food like joshua Carr started talking about economic sabotage make sure you don't carry any food to any market to sell to any francophone to anybody who is supporting the genocidal regime as a matter of fact we want to assure you ladies and gentlemen that Anybody that will be caught with food stuff, my name is Eric Tato, you can quote me anywhere. I'm not scared to say this. You cannot be feeding people. The BLM does not have food. They are killing our people. They have burned houses in Melef. They have burned houses in Toy Killer and in other areas in Bui Division or Bui County of Southern Cameroons. And we have people who are still carrying food to feed all these monsters from the Republic of Cameroon. We also want to ask Francophone students who are schooling within our schools for security reasons to go back to their country because as a matter of fact in the days ahead every necessary measure will be taken to ensure that we secure our territorial integrity i want you to also know that for soldiers who are still in southern cameroons and still parading with vehicles you have seen the you have seen all the examples from tarembo in internaco to uh Bafut to uh Le BLM, now recently to Mancon that we will not I told you guys last time that we will not have any vehicle go into our villages, burn houses and come back. The poor of Bui we are putting everything in place to ensure that you have those same technologies to ensure that those devices are available for you to put down all those vehicles when they come to your counties. Ladies and gentlemen, this is war. And for those who think that we are romancing, they have the most think twice because as a matter of fact we are poised to ensuring that the same La Republic du Cameroon, like somebody is already saying here, saying here who, who go about killing animals from pigs to goats to fowls to everything to human beings to all men of 68 to all men of 80, burning our women and raping our girls, want to ensure and to assure you that no matter what happened, independence has come. You have already seen the huge uh, favor that we are having, we're having from the US Senate. As a matter of fact, a few days ago, Everybody, most people were posting on social media. You saw the great work that the, for the first time, the United States Secretary of State, Mike Pompei, has actually received a letter signed by 10 U.S. senators. That is not a joke. That is one of the biggest diplomatic wins that we have had. And, of course, you've seen the days ahead. Some of us were here. We are upping our games and ensuring that we get to all the offices in D.C., to put pressure and to educate the senators on our plight. And we're happy that they are listening to us. So, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, I want you to be reassured of the fact that independence is a non-negotiable uh, substance as of now. In fact, we have won the war, and I can tell you authoritatively that we just need to stay committed. We need to put our little bit, and for all of you, all of you uh, fellow Ambazonians, to have confidence in some of the works that we do, because the reasons why we go out there, it's because we must save the 10 million, the 8 million people. We must repay and get back our land for the sake and for the glory of the 10,000 people who have died. We also think of our compatriots who are in jail, those who are refugees in Nigeria, those who have internally displaced. We are thinking of all those people and we have to remain resolved 
and to ensure that the Republic of Cameroon will never get a break like as far as our strategies and our policies are concerned. We once more want to urge all those activists that have remained divisive to understand that this is the time to preach unity among the leaders. After all, what is your gain if these leaders are not united? And what are you going to lose if they are at all they are united? I want to thank you all, especially my brother Armstrong uh, Ndamalea, who, of course, from the BLM County, who has been very helpful uh, to me, uh, technically and all the ways he can assist. He's been doing that big time. And we also want to thank everybody who has been following up closely and to let all of you know that this is an opportunity for us to turn our country around. And then this very big news uh, that is coming up in Chicago. So everybody who is watching me from Chicago, from all the states uh, around Illinois, this is an opportunity. You know, Chicago is a city in Illinois. So all of you, God bless you all. And I just want to let you know that I am publicly soliciting for us to help our refugees. And that's why I put that cash up there. I'm still going to read the cash up. Anything you send on that cash up, you're going to make it public. You can send a message to me. And uh, that cash up, of course, I've spoken with Ashley Kingsley. We have to print out all the information and present to the people of Chicago. This is my personal initiative. I've already raised close to uh, $1,100 as of yesterday. And I've had some other people who are probably uh, will be sending me some more uh, money. Let me see what I've had here. I've had, this is it. I've, I was just talking. Some people have sent $150 again on my cash app. So if you if you add that, I just received, uh, I have some money here. Uh, Papa Joe drove here and came and gave me what he pledged. Yesterday, I went after uh, Nostar's house. I, I had $1,000 that was contributed by friends of Nostar. And uh, somebody called me for a drink. When I went there, somebody offered to give me 12 bottles of Heineken, uh, one hour. And I said, no, bro, I'm going to see refugees and uh, you can assist in any way. He gave me $100. This is the $100 with me. And uh, Papa Joe has just driven here. He has given me his own $100. This is it, $250, uh, $50, $50. And some people have just sent me $150 on cash app. I'm going to get their names out. This is it. It has entered. I've never even had the money. I did not even know up to now. So this is in my cash app. All this thing that we printed, this is for the people in Chicago. There are actually two people who have sent this money. You can see the contact there. So the other cash app, those who have my personal number, if you send to me, no problem. You indicate that you have sent. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to send personal message to my friends. I've contacted some people this morning. And uh, my target is that I want to raise at least between five to $10,000 and hand it over to the people of Chicago to take to the refugees. During my daughter's uh, naming ceremony, I raised $1,500 that I gave to FACO. Uh, Joshua Khan has received that. My wife and I, my family, we have a policy. We have never, never taken a dollar. We have never spent a dollar from this movement. Everything that people give us, even during our daughter's uh, born house, as you call it, we give it back to the people because that is the right thing to do because a lot of people are dying and we cannot capitalize on blood money. So everything you send to me, I want you to show me how much you support me by going to that cash app you see there and put the money there so that people will know that indeed it is good to have trust, to have confidence. So if you give me 5000 or $10,000 and that money is handed to Chicago this weekend and then it will give a big signal that all the leaders need to come together because after all, if Eric Tato can take one day to raise $10,000, what about all these leaders? So I urge you all, those of you who are watching uh, from any part of the world that you want to assist this uh, issue, you can get to me personally. I can give you an information, either the Chicago account to put the money there. So the poor of Chicago, for those of you who are watching, of course, let me just read the cash up number to you. Uh, you can, those who have my personal number, you can do that. Those who want to call me on my uh, my personal contact, you can do that and I will direct you on how to do it. For the what, cash up number, is uh, Ashu Kinsley's number and uh, Joshua Kai is going to be part of the committee to supervise to ensure that this money gets to Chicago. Mark Barretta is also going to be there because we're discussing as a team. So uh, Ashu Kinsley will be receiving that money in his cash up and he's going to print out all the information. So as I speak with you, I've received $1,100 as of yesterday. Today, they have sent $150. So it is $1,250. So Chicago, you should be aware that uh, I have your one, I have your one hundred, uh, one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. So for the cash app number, I'll read it out. Um, it is uh, Ashu Kingsley's number. It is three zero zero. That's three zero, th no three zero two nine two two four zero four three. That's three zero two nine two two four zero four three. Please, you can pin the number down there. It's still there. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we are probably, 
thanking everybody who's already contributing. For those who want to contribute to my personal cash app, you have it. You can do that. They, they, that will be put out there and your identity will be protected. You'll be given a quote. So the cash app number for this Chicago project for refugees, I need $10,000 from all of you, my followers. Uh, my target is five times. If I have 10000 or more, I'm going to be very grateful. And that is going to be published officially on our page. So we have 302 922 So this is it. And I just want to share a story with you that the poor of Chicago have been very good to me. They offered to pay me a hotel. And I told them that, no, I cannot be coming to Chicago to raise funds for refugees. And you're paying me a hotel. I've offered to sleep in the in the couch or in the basement of one of our compatriots that I trust. I already discussed with him. And so Chicago, don't bother about any hotel. So anybody in Chicago who is asking money to pay a retail hotel, no, I have not asked for any hotel. I know nobody has asked. But that is the spirit because I think that we need to give the refugees more. So please, 302 nine two two four zero uh four three that's a cash up some people have sent personally to me i'm soliciting to everybody in the united states who will be watching this video either directly on facebook or on youtube please i wonder before i get out of this show i must have received at least five thousand or ten thousand dollars from you fidelis ambe waters kayaka uh all my followers uh but the tiny moses i've solicited to you everybody's watching me from london from anywhere any part of the world if there's a way that you want to contribute this money will also go to some of our compatriots in jail. Remember that they'll be spending Christmas in jail. There are a lot of them who are suffering, who need places to sleep. And this is part of our support. When that is done, the people of Chicago, I am not in any community managing any money in this revolution. I have never been. I only use a platform that is trusted by most of you to get money down to our people. As a matter of fact, I always want to repeat authoritatively, I've spent time talking to Waters Kayaka that I trust, although he's AGC. I work and we're sure that we can get a little bit from my family, can also contribute a little bit that like we're doing to other refugees down there in Nigeria. So the number is, that's the number is uh, 3029224043. Please, you can put the cash up, you can put cash up there and I'll be very grateful. Any little thing that you're going to give uh, for PayPal, I don't have any PayPal, I cannot lie to you, but you can call me and we can make arrangements on how if, they, if there's anything that you pledge and you want to give letter, I can pay the money. And if you call me and pledge, I can pay the money to the people of Chicago. And then later on, uh, we we can uh, obviously try to reimburse ourselves. So thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. Keep sharing. So Chicago, this is the address that I will be in Chicago. Of course, like you're already aware, I'll be there uh, this, uh, this weekend. It is exactly, let me go with this address to all of us so that uh, we can get all of this uh, straight up. Um, uh, where is the address? I think it should be here. Excellent. So it is on the 15th. I've put it here. It's the Saturday, 15 December. And it's going to start as from 7 p.m. I'm going to be there in person. And I'm reading this address because I'm not scared of nobody. You know, I have I have seven lives. I'm smoke. Probably I have not succeeded in killing one of my lives. So unfortunately for them. And it's going to be this 2018. It's a special fundraiser for refugees from 7 p.m. It's going to be at uh, 2, uh, 2300 Governors Highway, Olympia Fields, Chicago, Illinois. And of course, the zip code is 60461. So that is the address. So thank you very much. Please put money in that cash app and proof to anybody that, yes, you support this guy. He sacrifices everything he does. When I drive my vehicle, I go to the White House. Or I go to anywhere to do diplomacy. I'm not asking anybody to give me anything for that. That is my personal effort. However, they, we have one of our sisters that has been helping uh, in, in doing a lot for us. We're going to discuss with her on how to assist her. And when that is very concrete and it's transparent, I'm going to bring it to this platform. So thank you all, more, all, all of you once more. So the cash up number is there. All of you who are watching from the U.S. have reached out to my personal contact, like 10 of you. And some of you have already responded inst instantly. So when you send the money, you can write me a message at Brother Eric or Eric Tato. We have sent this to this cash app so that we're also going to keep track. We want to put out every statement on everybody who contributed by coding your name and ensuring that nobody gets your details of your contribution. But we're going to do a personal thank you. Uh, a general thank you and put it on our social media, uh, uh, you know, uh, our social media platform on this page so that everybody is going to be to be concerned. So the refugees are top priority for me this December. And if I can give them a ten thousand dollars, like, oh, yes, you have used your platform for something positive. And I think that's going to be so much of my pride. So thank you so much. Don't forget, Chicago, I'll be there this 15th, Saturday, 15th December, uh, 2018 for special fundraiser for, for refugees from 7 p.m at uh, 2300 governor's highway olympia fields chicago illinois and of course the zip code is uh, 60461 so join me there and of course let's enjoy the fun i'm going to to dance some special sequel Yoktabe julius music on that day so uh and uh 
It's going to be a special day for everybody in Chicago. So we will be meeting and God bless you all for your commitment. Uh, in the meantime, we'll continue uh, with um, one other agenda or so before before we close the live show. I want to thank all of you who have contributed so far. And uh, we have already made mention of uh, Honorable Weber's book. Uh, we've talked about the fact that... Uh, the United, the, 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 the Republic of Cameroon is lobbying to try to get an embassy or a consular, a consulate in the United Arab Emirates. So we're going to try to respond to that. We also want to have also talked about the audio from fighters. We have also talked about, there is also a recent post that somebody said that he lied about the PSS and Queen stuff to save us and stuff like that. Well, we don't want to talk about things like that, but we are sure that we already see how people are working and helping the government. But we want to remain on our standard, uh, the PSS in Queen Saga is dead and buried, and the international community knows that it is government soldiers who kidnapped those children. We have seen one of our brothers has come and posted that he was telling a lie about the PSS in Queen Saga. Nobody cares about your lie or your truth. Just keep on doing what you have been asked to do by the regime to cause confusion and dampen the Ambazonia movement. We are watching you, but we are praying for you that any time you decide to cross the lane and come back to your senses, we'll be glad to receive you like Jesus who has always asked for us to, to uh, forgive everybody. But there's one message I always want to preach. I always want to preach that we must unite. We must, um, you know. Okay, Ambazonian Bobo, thank you so much. I'm going to get to you immediately after this. You are a very strong supporter. You want to support with $300. Thank you. You have my personal number. I'm going to call you after this for you. When you send that, we're going to acknowledge. Ambazonian Bobo is a very strong activist. God bless you all so much. So that's the cash up. You have my personal number. My personal number too is uh, 202 390 Two two four seven. You can also get to me by that two zero two three nine zero two two four seven. Is that is that it? Two zero two three nine zero two two four seven. That's my personal number, but the cash app number is there. So I was just saying that we have received. We saw a post from one of our brothers who is claiming that during the PSS in Quensaga, he told a lie that that picture that he brought about the francophone was not true. Of course. I already said it in my live show long ago that it is not true. That's an innocent man, but the government has arranged for people to do that. They only want us to say things that will put the government one foot ahead, but we're not going to say that. After all, the story came from me, and the only authentic person to do a corrigendum or a rejoinder is me. So any other person who is saying any other thing is not a concern of the international community because the international community does not care about what some people say because they know that they are just saying nothing as a matter of fact. So I want to thank you very much. We want all activists to move themselves from the position of being liabilities to be the position of the most wanted activists like some of them were before because that's what is important so we want to seize the opportunity once more to thank all activists irrespective of your of your actions but we pray that god is going to give you the strength and the wisdom to understand that people's life are involved god bless you i'm going to end here don't forget please you get to me let's help the refugees let's ensure that everybody has something those of you in germany in the uk anywhere brazil if you want to assist this is the time. In the meantime, after this, we'll be organizing something special for Sisekwa Yoktabe on the 5th of January that I'm going to announce. So God bless you. Do not forget, this is an opportunity. Yes, that's my personal number, 202-390-2247. You can get to me. Send me a message. If you send any money to end that cash up, give me a message so that we're going to give, we're going to give accountability to the people of um, Chicago. Yes, but I'm man in joke, in joke. I want your contribution. I want your support for refugees. You're my man. So make sure that you put that money there in that cash app and you put me a note. So this is a special appeal. It's for refugees and it's done openly and everything like I've shown you. Uh, let me see if somebody has sent, uh, uh I think that, uh, I can wait. Some people have just indicated to me that they want to send something on the cash app. No, nobody has sent, uh, so that's the number. It's still 150 as you can see, although it's uh, upside down, but it's $150. I have not received any extra money. So when you send it there, this is for refugees, it's for relief. I want to assist these people because they are suffering. You have seen all of these images. And if our sister Abdullah has actually raised a lot of money, we can do it better because this is our issue and it concerns us personally. So I want to use a day or two to make sure that I raise between $5,000 and $10,000 for our refugees. So, and then we'll do more fundraising in Chicago. And so God bless you all, the poor of Chicago. I'm also thinking of my friend Gideon, who is in Missouri, who has told me, I'm just getting tip that he might be driving to Chicago for this event. And my other friend in Ohio told me that he might also drive to Chicago. And for the people of Ohio too, I know you are Columbus, Ohio. I know you're organizing a fundraiser. I'm going to announce those things after our Chicago event. Uh, so God bless you. And uh, we are very happy. My phone number once more is uh, 202-390-2247. 202-390-2247.
Uh, let me, I'm going to, let me type that number. I'm going to pin it down there. So please, if you want to send something, you can do it already. Either you send it to that number or you send it to Ashu Kingsley's Cash App. We're going to put all of those statements out there to ensure that there is total transparency. So uh, let me pin, let me pin my number down there real quick and uh, see what's going on. So we, we actually very happy. Uh, I'm just getting this uh, big uh, Mezam. Mezam County has just posted something here. Yeah, they contacted me. I've seen Mezam. Before I put that number down there, Mezam County has, has a very wonderful flag. Oh my God, Mark Barita again. <laughs> so Mark Barita is going to be participating. He's probably one of the main men who's going to be doing this launching for Mezam County. Let me take this number from Ireland. Okay, hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, speaking, speaking, yes, sir. That's not Eric Tato, sorry. Eric Tato is live. Who are you answering the call? I just got your number now. No, I'm live, yes, I'm live. You just called me because I picked it. I'm live. I can get you, I can get you from background, yes. No, that's not you, sorry. <laughs> no, that's Eric Tato. That's Eric Tato, yes, it is me. No, the, the issue, the issue is that when you are talking on phone, it's going to synchronize. It's going, to, the, my voice is going to come later. You understand? It cannot be immediate. Yeah. Okay, good, Eric. Is, uh, I just wanted to inquire because I think I'll be contributing to your, to your place to the rest again. Okay. Oh, the problem is that, uh, no, it is not, it's not fake. Thank you. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you. No problem. So you can call me after the show. That's my number. So no problem. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. No, I'll be grateful. Thank you. So we just have our brother who is calling all the way from Dublin, Ireland. He just called me and, uh, you know, so anywhere in the world you can contribute. That's to show the strength so that our leaders can know that if you unite in one minute, in two days, you can, I use five minutes to raise $1,100. It's gone up to $1,250. I think that is record breaking. So everybody can know that if we unite, we're going to get that. And then Mezam County, of course, thank you very much, Mezam County. We, Mark Barretta and myself, we have just received this flyer from Mezam County. You can see this. Uh, Mark Barretta is going to be there for the launching and of course Zachary Longmop to be there thank you Zachary God bless you and uh, we'll do something special for Mark for Mark Zachary my Mark Zachary myself we'll do something special for Mezam County they are going to have that Zoom conference uh, call for the fundraiser we're going to be there and we're going to contribute our own little bit so God bless you the poor of Mezam I have received your flyer and I've announced thank you the people of Buitu are doing something so now, the public is showing us that county by county is the best option and we have to go through that road in order to have money. All the frontline leaders can have money through this county by county. Let's not fight each other. Let's instead put our ideas and uh, try to fix things where we're going wrong. And uh, I was going to uh, pin this live show, pin my 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 number on this live show. But my, of course, my number is 202 uh, 390 All those of you who are actually out there, God bless you. God bless you so much and keep the faith you always remember that no matter what you do it is an opportunity uh i think uh we we're going to take this other call hello hello yes sir yes bro i'm okay Okay. Just one minute. Just one minute. Let me put you live so that you can explain to the people because I was just talking on my live show. I'll call you back and put you live now. Okay. Me live? Yes. Yeah. You just you can talk. You can just explain what you want to explain. No. I'm saying the honorable. Oh. Okay. He wants to talk to me. That's fine. Okay. I'll get. I'll get to him now. No, no, it's okay. I was, I was actually saying that since it concerns the book launch, you can explain to the people because I'm live on Facebook. I can take your call and put it on speaker and people will hear what you're saying and the plan that we have for the book launch. No, no, no. It's just, uh, just a few questions. I'll just ask you a few questions. That's fine. So I'll call you right back. <laughs> 
Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. So we are going to talk to our brother, who, of course, um, uh, about the book launch of uh, Honorable Weber. I was just talking about it. So he just called me and he was trying to pass me a message from Honorable Weber. So we're going to listen. Yes, Hello. yeah, boy, you are live on Facebook, Eric Tato. Can you just explain to us the book launch issue of uh, Honorable Weber, just for a few minutes, maybe a minute or two? Yes, uh, this is a great book, isn't by Honorable, as we, we all know. Honorable Weba is a great man in this revolution and uh, a, a person who, you know, is a trailblazer, one of the first persons to come out and uh, deliver a warning and a, a very prophetic warning to the Republic. Mm -hmm. so, and we all know that uh, all the warnings that he talked about, before anybody ever even imagined a fight or anything, everything has come true. So he's right now you know, has a powerful book out there, you know, that is going to talk about this revolution and push our revolution to the next level. I trust and believe he's going to do that. So I would definitely uh, ask everyone out there to be ready for the book launch. We're going to release the date when the, the book launch will be done in uh, all the sites, both in the United States and in uh, Britain so and in Europe. So the date will be coming very soon. But please, this is definitely a book that you cannot miss. Oh, I'm thank you so much. So, uh, is Honorable Uba ready to talk to us now? Because we spoke with him too last time and... He, he, I don't have him on right now, but uh, what I was saying is, uh, in a little bit, he will be absolutely ready to, you know, grant an interview and talk, but he's not on as we speak right now. All right, thank so. you. Thank you so much. Okay, so, uh, just put me in line. Just let me know when Honorable wants to talk so that we can bring out the information to the people. So we have the Weber Force that is coming and I endorse and support that book just like I did for Mark Barretta's book, 100%. So every Southern Cameroonian should get that book because Honorable Weber is a, a sitting runaway parliamentarian of the Republic of Cameroon who is now fully ambassador yeah, well, and, and he has a lot of testimony that will be, will be considered the most authentic in this revolution. So God bless you. Right. We'll get back. We'll get back to Honorable. Let Honorable know that we have announced this already, and we're going to give him a call after this show. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Thank you. God bless you. Right. Okay. okay. So thank you very much. We, uh, you know, interjecting things in the show. I want to thank Honorable Weber, and to let you, Honorable, know that we support you. Your ideology is the best on that day. So, so uh, and. Uh, it's going to be a special so that we can bring out the information to the people. We, we're sorry about that too. I'm going to pin my number. I'm going to pin my number here. Uh, let me see. Uh, 202-390-2247. So that's my, that's my personal contact that I've put there. So all those of you who are watching from elsewhere, God bless you. Those of you, for, those of you who are watching on YouTube, I'm grateful. So don't forget, we have a big project for the refugees. Everything bank, my brother and friend, I'm expecting your contribution. That money is going straight to the refugees like we have done in many occasions where we have also contributed our money. And so uh, we'll be doing everything to ensure that we get something substantial for the refugees uh, in our name and handing it over to the Chicago, the Southern Cameroon's community in Chicago. So Chicago, we'll see you on Saturday. So but don't forget, I'll keep announcing this. I'll do an audio that will go around. And uh, for those of you in Canada, some people say they cannot contribute. We're going to ask the poor of Chicago if they have a PayPal. I'm going to put that so that we'll have everybody included in the donation. So all of you in the U.S. who are watching me, please go to that cash app. Put anything that you can put. But I'm not going to take anything less than $100 from each person. That's just a joke anyway. But I'm just trying to say that. Make sure that you contribute something substantial. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. God bless you. In fact, I have a lot to say, but I don't want this video to be long. So I'm going to leave it here. And we'll talk more uh, in our subsequent outings, probably tomorrow, next tomorrow. Once more, God bless you, Mark Barita, And I wish you a safe trip. I'm sure by now you're already in Belgium. Uh, you are blessed to have uh, been, uh, you know, you know, for all the things you do. God bless you. Thank you to Ebong uh, Kingsley, Ekembe Manuel, uh, in Detroit. Della Della, all of you in the UK, Amy Trisha, Enosto, all of you who supported Mark Barita. God bless you. Uh, and don't forget, Evan Ben, I'm waiting for 100 bucks from you. But I'm now in Jokayok, 200. So you know what I mean. So we need all this money to help these refugees. So please, if you watch me, I beg you in the name of God, look at all those people who are dying. 
put your money there and you sure that with Eric Tato, your money will go. You see me hand the money to the people of Chicago and no single fan. I'm going to follow up to make sure that it is used judiciously. Thank you so much. God bless you. All of you on, uh, on, 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 uh, on, what, on uh, what's up any other uh, forward that you'll be watching this on youtube god bless you send your contributions to the cash app that we've been reading here and uh and be fidelis and be send that maze and county lodges on the 16 years i'll be there uh and uh we'll be very happy to join all of you thank you so much brother bruno god bless you watching from grand zero kembe manuel i am so grateful to have known you as a friend you are a very formidable person one of my few friends who stood by me in those days when i had a very issue and when i was locked up for 21 days at the uh, uh boya central prison and came Ma was one of my friends who was actually very supportive and who understood the kind of diabolic people that we've dealt with or we've dealt with all this while i want to thank you all very much and god bless you once more uh we're going to leave it here don pacho uh salas atefo my friend of uh, from new york as another strong activist God bless you. I'm expecting all of you to support, to contribute. And, uh, you know, so, ciao. Bye-bye.